First date follow up. Powered by the Advocates Injury Attorneys. Online at AdvocatesLaw.com. Brooke is on the phone today for a first date follow up, and she's getting ghosted by a guy named Craig. So, in a second, we're going to call him and see if he'll tell us why he's ghosting her, maybe get her another date. But first, Brooke, how long has it been since you heard from Craig? Oh, hey. Oh, gosh. I haven't heard from Craig in a few days, which is weird because before the date, we were texting all the time. Have you reached out to him in that time, though? Yeah, well, at the end of our date, he was like, okay, well, just hit me up when you're ready to hang out again. And so I did. <laughs> and then <laughs> cricket, like just nothing. Okay, let's, Yikes. let's go backwards and play detective. How, tell us about your date. We met on a dating app, like most people. I think it was Hinge. Um, and I had seen on his profile, we had, he had like pictures of him doing that axe throwing thing. So I set up the perfect date where we threw axes, which, by the way, is really freaking hard. If you it is. It is. <laughs> it's a lot harder than you think. Oh, my God. My shoulders still hurt. <laughs> um, so he totally kicked my butt. But, like, it was super fun. Like, we had fun challenging each other. Um, and we were having so much fun that we went to the bar next door and kept having drinks all night where we played darts, where he also kicked my butt again. <laughs> I'm not very good at these things. <laughs> um but point being that we had a lot of fun. Like, he was laughing the whole time with me. Like, it's not in my head. Like, he really had a good time. I'm pretty sure. Well, other than laughing and stuff, what kind of gave you the vibe that he was into it? I mean, he asked me to go home with him. So, Did you go? I did. I did. I mean, I felt safe with him. Like, we really connected, or, or so I thought. Well, what happened at his place? Did all kinds of fun things happen? Uh, there were some fun adult things that happened, but okay. I'm like a little worried because when we first got to his apartment, he has a roommate that was just chilling on the couch and we like said hello to him and he was really hot. And <laughs> in my drunken state, I may have been like, oh my God, your roommate is totally fine. Oh. So I don't know if that like offended him, but like I clearly went into Craig's room. So like I was not going to hook up with his roommate. I don't know if that's why he's ghosting me. How would you feel, Jupal? You take a girl home to hook up with you. You have a roommate and on your on her way to your bedroom. She says, man, your roommate is so hot. Yeah, I guess uh, depends how hot he is. It might be like, yeah, I agree. I know he's very hot, but you're with me. So probably wouldn't bother me that much, although maybe it should. I don't know. Did he, What did he do when you said that? He just kind of ignored it. Like there wasn't a a reciprocal conversation about his roommate being hot. And then I was like, oh, I'm just like drunk and rambling. But then we just started making out. So, you know, (laughs) no more conversation needed. I wonder if he like kind of got in his head and thought maybe you were fantasizing about the roommate. Would you still follow through with hooking up with a girl, Jubal, if you knew that she was thinking about somebody else? Depends how much I liked her. If I really liked her, no. But she's thinking about somebody else. Wouldn't that be worse? Well, if I didn't, if I didn't really like her that much, whatever. This right. is more uh, transactional. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, it's I don't care like, who you think, think about. about whatever you want. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. But if you liked her, but then if it I would liked be a her, I would rather she be thinking about me. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that's why I want you to call him because clearly, if he's thinking that, it's wrong. Like I just made an off the cuff comment while drunk, so I want to make sure he's not like looking too much into. It. I really liked him, like a lot. Like we had a lot of fun. I really want to see him again. He's super hot. And how did things end when you left? Yeah, I mean, we had a nice time together, and he said, like, you know, hit me up when you want to hang out again. So I felt like we both were into it and wanted to go on another date. But then, you know, I've texted him. It's been a few days, and then now just nothing. Okay. Well, we'll see if we can figure it out for you. We'll play a song, come back, and then call him and ask him why he's ghosting you and maybe get you another date, okay? Okay, cool. Thank you so much. All right. We'll play a song, come back, get your first date follow-up next. Just joining us for today's first date follow-up, Brooke is on the phone and she's getting ghosted by a dude named Craig, so we're about to call him and see if he'll tell us why he's ghosting her and maybe get her another date. But first, Brooke, why don't you refresh everybody's memory on your situation? Yes. So, met Craig on Hinge. We had a great date where we played some sportsy light games that I sucked at. (laughs) Then we went back to his place and we had a really great night together, but I may have put my foot in my mouth and made a comment about his roommate being hot. And I'm wondering if that's why he's now ghosting me. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Are you ready for us to call him? Yes, please. Okay. (laughs) Here we go.
Hello. Hi, may I speak to Craig, please? Yes, you are. Craig, how are you? My name is Jubal. I host a radio show. It's called The Jubal Show. Hi, Craig. I'm Nina, also on the show. Hi, I'm Victoria. How are you? Hey, hello. I'm fine. Do you ever listen to the show? Yeah, me and my roommate listen to it all the time. Oh, Oh, sweet. Cool, man. Well, then you've probably heard a first aid follow-up before? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Well... If uh, since you already know, I'll say it anyway. A first date follow up is where if you go on a date with someone and then you ghost them, they can email us to get you on the phone and ask why you're ghosting them. And we got an email about you, Craig. No, no, wait, wait. You said you got an email about me. Yes. Okay. I'm all right. I'm, I'm it was listening. from a woman named Brooke. <laughs> I get her. Uh, Yeah, she emailed us, told us about your date, said she really likes you, but she's confused because you haven't called her back. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, 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 um, huh. I remember her, she's, she's, she's beautiful, she's one of them, she's gorgeous, I mean, she, I'm a sucker for red lipstick, and she wears it well, um, okay. had a lot of fun with her, she's, she's gorgeous, she's fun, I had a great time with her, we went on a date, um, axe throwing, she's not good at it. Uh, <laughs> went on another date. I mean, the, the same night. Uh, yeah, dark, she told us about how you guys not good at- went axe throwing and then, you know, like hung out and went back to your place. And she thought you guys were really vibing. We, yeah, yeah, we were. We were. Um, okay. I got to be honest with you. She's kind of weird to me. She's kind of weird to me. Why? Okay, well, we got back to our place. I mean, my place. I'm sorry. I'm talking about my roommate's place and everything. Um... We're hooking up. We're having a good time. I'm vibing with her. Everything's great. And she asked me to bark. <laughs> like a bark. dog? Like a dog. Like woof woof? Bark, yes. She asked me to bark. And, okay, I did it. But I, I didn't feel quite comfortable, you know, because it's barking. You know. <laughs> uh, this is the first time barking. anybody's asked you to bark in the bedroom? Yes. Yes. See how quick that came out? Yes. <laughs> it, it came out. It's very, yeah, I'd never had, I mean, like, she was asking for, like, husky Rottweiler barks. It wasn't the Chihuahua stuff. She wanted real, like, like, <laughs> from the gut bark. How far into the, you guys getting intimate, did she request this? I would say all of, maybe, eh, five minutes, five <laughs> minutes, you know, we're hugging, we're kissing, clothes are coming off, and we're about to do it, and she's like, hey, <laughs> I'd like you to bark for me. And she was insistent. Like, like, like her voice dropped like five octaves. Like, I really wish you'd bark for me. I'm like, right, right, Hannibal. Whatever, Hannibal. What? You got it. Whatever, Hannibal, because I'm bark. I'm literally barking for my life right now because I don't know what this woman's about. I mean, she's cool. I mean, she brought a bag in a room. People, she brought a bag in a room with me. I don't know what's in the bag. It could have been like she did a party favor. Like, I don't know. It's so hard. It's probably her purse. In a leather satchel? It was a leather bag with a clip. You protect, see, I don't know. I don't know. She's cool, though. She's cool and she's beautiful. Oh, my God. Red lipstick. Oh, uh, but it was just too much. But if she's beautiful and the red lipstick and everything else, like. That's why he barked. Throw her a little bark. <laughs> yeah, that's why I barked. I mean, I got to. I, 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 I know it's going to go on the radio, but I'm just letting you know that's what scared me off. Okay. The barking got me. You couldn't have been that scared, Craig, because, geez, you barked for me like it was no problem. You gave consent, and you sure seem to like it. So why are you bothered after the fact? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that, is that Brooke? Yes, is that she's Brooke? been on the phone listening. Oh, dude. Oh, <laughs> see, I knew that was done again. Okay. Okay. Hi, Brooke. Hi, Brooke. Hi, Craig. How you doing? <laughs> Hi, Brooke. So wait, Craig, uh-huh. did, you, did you really not like it because I am a very consent based person like I would never make you do something you're uncomfortable with <laughs> you stared at me like Hannibal Lecter like the next answer should have been yes <laughs> I, I was scared Brooke you mean I don't know you plus that bag Brooke honey you you brought the axe from our first date you brought the axe home from our first date and you're being <laughs> so silly <laughs> listen you're like a foot guy right like no big deal you. how'd you even get it out the How'd you even get out the club? You brought an axe with you. You stole the axe from us. I did thing. not bring an yeah. axe with me. You're being ridiculous. <laughs> but listen. I'm just saying there was an axe missing. You know, they actually sound really good together. I yeah. don't know about you guys, but. 
What were you saying about the feet, Brooke? Oh, yeah. So, like, hopefully it's okay, Craig, because we're spilling some tea. You talked about my bark fetish. Well, Craig has a foot fetish. And listen, it's not really my thing, but I'm going to give you my feet if that's what you want. And I gave them to you. So, like, Hey, you know. hey, hey, hey. What? No one talks about the feet. That's a personal thing to me. I love the feet. There's no websites that cater to feet. There's no websites catering to dudes barking. I bet there is. Are you sure about that, my friend? <laughs> I think yeah, Brooke knows what they are. <laughs> On the, on the dark web, yes. On the dark web, they are. And I don't want to be a member of that little little scenario. I don't want to be a dark web member. Like, oh, look at this dude. He's in the left leather skin barking. Oh, there goes one down. You don't like the barking at all, Craig? Barking is a gateway drug, man. At least the leather and whips and <laughs> dominatrix heels on a neck. Wow. I don't know her well enough like that. I don't know. You don't want to find out? Let's have a conversation. We can get to know each other and slow down in the bedroom if you're uncomfortable. Yeah, I said it's spotted to the fly. The next thing you know, I'm on the back of the milk carton talking about last time we saw him, he was working. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, would you like to go on another date with Brooke? We'll pay for it. And then you guys can have more of a conversation. Hey, Brooke, when you saw my roommate, how did you, what were you thinking when you said he looks hot? What, is, what, is, what does that mean? I totally knew you were bothered you about my, my comment roommate. with your roommate. Listen. You're totally hot, and so is your roommate. Him being hot doesn't take away my attraction from you. I realize I was kind of drunk, and I shouldn't have made that comment, and I can see why you might take that mm -hmm. and feel insecure, but mm -hmm. I really like you. Not just because you're hot, because you okay. are, but because we have fun okay, together, hold on, hold on, and you're crazy, hold on. obviously. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> All right, just want to make sure that we have an understanding that I'm the hot one here. Thank you. <laughs> so bark one, since you're going to take me out again. <laughs> see, see, see. See that? See right there. That right there. So, that's, Craig, that's yeah, it. bark once if you want to take her out again. So, fair request. Twice wow, if it's a really no. you're really going to do this to me, aren't you? You're really going to make me bark. Yeah, yes. one for wow. yes or two for no. Okay, <laughs> bark, 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 bark. Wow. So, you got me oh, barking already. No. This is not going to be a good relationship. If I'm barking on the radio already. So, is that a no then, Craig? Yeah, no, bark. I'll go out with you again and make sure I bring my collar. <laughs> Jubal's first date follow-up.